everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here again with some more teaching tips for you all. Now, as I said last week, we're looking at the idea of practice and motivation to practice with our students. And I don't know about you, but one of the things that I that, that we struggle with sometimes is to find the time to practice. So here I am today with three ideas for how you can help students to do that. So unsurprisingly, the research shows us that practicing for short amounts of time that are regularly spaced across the week is the most effective way of learning new skills and consolidating those skills. Of course, that isn't news to us. I mean, um, we've all had our students, and maybe even done it ourselves, speaking personally, where we've crowned for something the night before and really done lots and lots on it, but just all in one go. And then when you get to your lesson, whatever it is, the following day, of course, it all just crumbles away from you. And that's because this idea of spaced practice is very well known and very well researched these days as being so essential uh, for consolidation of skills. So by spaced practice, I mean you practice something, a skill on one day and you follow it up and do it again on another day and a third day and a fourth day, or even that you space the practice apart. So you do some in the morning and some later on in the day. Obviously, if we're talking about young learners, then we're probably spacing it across a week. For ourselves, space practice can work within a day. Just don't do it or try and do this. You learn more by doing uh, two 15 minute sessions than doing one full 30 minute session. So practice, space practice, as it's called, is really important in helping the brain to assimilate new learning. But in real life, how do we encourage young learners to do this? So here's these three ideas I mentioned. First thing, first idea, is to gather some facts about the practice that is currently going on and what the student is currently doing and what their other commitments are. Life is busy these days and schools are often very busy places. So gather as many facts as you can by asking them to write down their practice during the week for a, a, a week. Now, if you're a curious piano teacher, we of course got this wonderful practice, um, practice chart that was um, I first used quite a few years ago, but the idea is they just color in what they do and there's no judgment here at all we just want to get a sense of what the practice is what practice is happening where and also how it feels for them you know does it feel easy to go to the piano or does it feel hard and we've all had those moments haven't we um so you know it, it, it was easy to do some practice today and also there is a question that says i enjoyed messing around on the piano because that's also important so that's the first thing gather some facts about what is currently going on. The following week, you need to leave some time during the lesson together for them to discuss and share with you what they've discovered. Because when you've got that information, you can then talk to them about, so where is the time in your week where you could actually fit more practice in? Now, this is a matter of negotiation. They know their week far better than you do and they know what time they have to leave for school you know if it depends on the age of the child but by now let's take for example i've got a 10 year old who i've been doing this very thing with and the practice wasn't going on regularly enough for various reasons so we had this chat two weeks ago i suppose um and he said well actually the best time is early in the morning before i go to school and leaves for school at quarter to eight so you know we're, we're talking about really quite early here um, he said but I'm not very good in the morning but it's definitely the best time because I'm too tired by the time I get back so last week I said how's that gone yeah I've been doing that and he uses practice app and I could see he had and this week I said again you know how was that going oh it's getting easier to get up in the morning he tells me so we've talked about it we've negotiated and he's on a five-day practice streak you know so, I made sure that we celebrated that in this lesson. So make sure this is from the student to you. You're not imposing, but you are maybe suggesting, you know, I wonder what would happen if, great question, I wonder what would happen if, um, to, to ask them, what would happen if you did your practice in the morning? How would you feel in the evening? So that's your second strategy. 
discuss it with your student, get them to discover those moments in the, in the time they can practice. The third thing to follow it up with is if you have the, let, the parents there coming to pick up at the end, then get the student to explain to the parent what, um, what they've decided. It's got to be the student, the student tells the parents. If the parents aren't there, if it's a lesson in school, then see if you can find a teacher. Go back to the, to the classroom with the child, you know, tell, tell you know, Mrs. Smith what it is you're going to do with the piano. If there isn't a teacher around and it's not always convenient, just get them to tell the next student because actually then saying it out loud will help to strengthen their resolve. So, the next week, this will need to be followed up. Like I was explaining, I had done. Discuss it further. How did that go? How did it feel? What tweaks do you think you need to make? Hopefully, though, you will hear the results in the lesson. There will be an improvement, and that is then something to celebrate. So, three ideas for helping them to get better practice. Spaced practice. First of all, it was gather the information from them about when they are practicing and their week. Secondly, discuss with them when they might practice. And then thirdly, make sure they tell somebody else about the practice they're going to be doing. Works for me. Hope that works for you. Let me know. Have fun teaching. Bye for now.